does enjoy this. Remember, if you're new to the channel, please consider giving a sub to the channel and a like on the video and even a comment as it all helps boost the algorithm and puts these videos in front of the right people to help bring us more of a community like y'all. I love you guys so much. Let's get into the video. Awesome. So for the record, I'm sure everybody knows this, but it's one thing to be able to play a song well on stage, but it's completely another 
to be able to put on a good performance from a song. It is completely different to be able to put on a good performance from a song. And these ladies surely do not disappoint because their stage performance is awesome. That was a great song. And that was a great stage performance. You don't go to a show just to watch a band. If you want to listen to that song, you can just listen to it on the CD. You go to a live show to watch the band be them. All right? You don't go to a show to just listen to the same track that, like I said, you can listen to on a CD. That just doesn't make sense to me. As a performer of live shows, like I said, you go to a show to see the performer. So let's see if we can find some awesome stuff to break down in this episode because I bet you there's a lot of cool stuff. Here we go. First thing I want to talk about is the lights. It takes two days, a day or so, to organize events this big. So this always kind of fascinated me to have an engineering team, a lights team, sound team, it all, tech team, roadie team, crew team, all that kind of stuff. It always blows my mind the master craftsmanship that goes into putting on shows of this caliber and this size. It just blows my mind. All right, so that's something I want to point out there. She is already, in the beginning of the song, taking control of the crowd. That is, that is a superpower. That is like a natural 20 in the charisma. <laughs> that's awesome. Ah, oh, look at those cool lights. It looks like a UFO spaceship. Starting right off with the crowd interaction. That is a genius, genius lyric choice. Uh, if you get the crowd engaged right in the first couple of the seconds of the song, uh, it's like a tribal ceremony that you all get to experience together. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I'll join in. Do you remember me teaching you all about rondo form and how all, well, I say all, but like 95% of modern music is written in rondo form, A, B, A, C, A, B, A. Think about that whenever we listen to this type of music, too. It's all together. And this track actually gives me a wonderful European metal vibe as well. Listen to how the guitars are played. Listen to how the song flows. None of it really repeats itself. I mean, there are some parts that repeat itself, obviously the chorus, but nothing major to where it doesn't seem repetitive to me. Even down to their costumes, it's all about putting on a stage performance. And that drummer has such amazing dynamics, too. She really brings the crowd in. So drums are the brain's ability to hear the in-between spaces of when harmony and melody bring us to rhythm and dynamics. Keep that in mind. She has such a powerful voice to be able to hit those higher notes like that and still have the power from the diaphragm. That's amazing. And what's amazing about this even more to me is even as a performer on stage, if you know a song well enough, it becomes like drinking water or breathing. It becomes second nature and you just command the crowd. I love it. I love it. That's something I didn't notice the first playthrough. I didn't notice that they take turns doing vocals. That's awesome. I love that drum riff. 
Those bird chirps. Boots, 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 boots. I love that. That is so hard to play. And it's so groovy. It almost has an anime feel to it, doesn't it? But it's totally apropos. <laughs> Yet again, I still wish that I could speak Japanese. Okay, so I want you guys to hear that one more time because that's all in rhythm of the song, by the way. I think it's amazing. This is like a Buddy Rich style solo to me to write an intermission, an interim portion of the song that retains the whole rhythm of the song on one instrument. That is absolute mirror of mastery of your craft. That is incredible. <laughs> So there's a rule in drummers that you hear you hear how her right leg is just boom 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 boom. That's your locomotion. If you can keep your locomotion going, you'll never lose your spot ever. Oh my God, that's so good, and none of it repeats itself. In true Neil Peart fashion, like, that is so inspiring. Wow. Without even missing a beat, that's amazing. That is true, truly good musical writing. That guitar play produced like almost every day, and whenever I get moved into my own place, it literally will be multiple videos a day. Y'all ain't gonna be able to stand it. I'm gonna be just flooding it with content. I love it. So, I'm Ed Horst, your host, and I will see y'all next time.